Hey guys, this is Paul, coming to you live from Andrea's room with another exciting episode of Proving Science Wrong... Da 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 There's no theme song. Today's victim is the very ancient and very wrong notion known as Zeno's Paradox. Just so you know, I don't even think people still believe in this anymore, but I'm sure that won't stop him. Zeno's Paradox basically states they can never actually outrun something moving ahead of you because there's always an ever-changing midpoint between you two to surmount. Kinda hard for us today to understand, right? Well, I don't think the ancient Greeks did either, because they had to illustrate it with a myth starring the hero Achilles. And a tortoise. Now, in order to carry out this experiment, we're going to have to assign parts. So first we have Achilles, who's of course a strong, incredible guy. But we don't have anybody here like that, so we're going to use P-Monkey. Ha ha. As for the part of the tortoise, do we have any takers? Well, I guess we could use this tortoise I found. Uh, I guess that'll have to do. Before we start, we should name him. How about Paul? Anka. His name is Paul Anka. Okay. Alright, it appears everyone's in place. As you can see, our friend here will be racing from top of the towel. That is because, as Andrea's jeans just found out, tortoises don't have very large bladders. Um, welcome back. Uh, anyway, I hope you make the best of this head start. It's time for the moment of truth. Will Zeno's paradox hold up? Ready, go! Come on! Yeah, that's enough of a head start. Alright, get ready, Achilles. He better watch out. Because if the paradox holds true, we're about to let him adrift into a sea of infinitely multiplying midpoints. Oh, am I sure they want to do this to him? What a horrible fate! Ready, go! Well, Achilles, 6,000 years later, and I can think you can officially say that Zeno's paradox is officially busted. Took long enough. Well, that's all the time we have today for proving science wrong. Hope you tune in next time when we do something... hopefully not involving animals.